right, so I want to do a quick video on how to set up Podia with Zapier because I had a lot of issues and I found that there is an extra step that you have to do in order to not have every segment be triggered by someone who signs up, especially because I have um, Masterclass 1, Masterclass 2, Masterclass 3, and it got really confusing for Podia. It basically um, messed everything up, and if someone registered for one thing, they would be added to all of my segments, which obviously I didn't want because I have sleep products in here, I have Mistis products, I have some that are free, I have some that are paid. So I'm going to demonstrate you how to go ahead with this. So what you will do is you have someone registering and this is a brand new address here that I'm using and I literally just created it for testing purposes um, I created a whole bunch because I had to figure this out through elimination and it was um, really annoying it took a long time Okay, so we registered. So now we're going to go to Podia and I'm going to walk you through what you have to do. So, first of all, you go to Podia, you connect your app, the trigger event is a new sale, your account, you find your data, you will take the latest data that you can find. So this was literally zero seconds ago and here it is. Uh, no, that's not the right one. There, how to make Google love you, Google at Holistic Sleep Coach Institute. So that's correct. Now here's the extra step that you need to add. So you press this little plus, the app that you're using is filter by Zapier. And then you need to choose here, the sales product name. This is going to be a tricky one. Not exists, but text exactly matches. Sometimes that's enough. Here it isn't, and I'm not surprised, it's because I have this emoji in there. So what you do is you copy paste exactly what the title is called. You paste it in here, continue, then it works. So it literally needs to be every letter, also capital letters or small case letters, it needs to be exactly, exactly the same. Then you choose your account. You have to create or update a subscriber. It's not enough to say just add to a segment because if your subscriber hasn't existed before, it won't work. My account, there we go. It fill, fill in the correct address. We're going to retest this. And I know that it's working, so I'm switching it on. Then if we go back to Flowdesk, and you can see here I really tested everything out. Um, it should be added just to this one segment, which is perfect. So that's how it's done. Um, but you need to add this filter step here with the exact name. Text exactly matches.